welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Manifest your true intentions. Regardless of what language you speak, your intent will be manifested through the word. What you dream, what you feel, and what you really are will be manifested through what you say each and every day. That's, this is a dynamite card, man. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 484, NASDAQ up 336, SP is up 72, gold contract trading down $9.30 at 1780 an ounce. We have silver down 14 cents, $19.99 an ounce, light sweet crude off 370, $90.71 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10 year flat, 120.03, 30 year down three ticks at 142.28 in King Dollar. King dollar right now trading. Where are you hiding on me? There we go. There it is. Up 240, trading 106, 482. The yen is 134. The euro is 101. The British pounds is 121 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, we got the buyers out here. Uh, inside the S&P, however, that being said, the bottom line is that, um, you know, you, you get a wicked contraction of volume in. Uh, but guess what? If it holds this uh, 413.03, uh, you're going right to 417. 417 is the uh, high of uh, June 1st. That's what, that's what it's aiming for right now. Uh, we'll see how this close shakes out, though. Uh, it's surprising that, the, um, you know, yesterday we, we did 63 million and we just came down a little. Now, this, this is really cool to see how price and volume work, folks. Okay, so watch this. If we go back to Friday, Friday, you made a high with 87 million shares, okay? We're at 40 million today. So that means we're gonna do about 60, 65 million. So you, you know, you, you light a good 20 million shares. Now watch this. Then you try to go to the high again with 69 million. So the correlation is 69 against 87. Then what do we do yesterday? We dipped on 63. Remember that, higher with 69, dipped on 63. And today's gonna be the kicker because if we don't do 63 today, that's saying that this thing still wants to back down, the S&P. That's how that set, sets up. Particularly because you actually should be doing about 80 right here that you're going after the swing. Okay, that's your, that's your S&P. Now, going to the Qs, you got a different animal. The Qs are gonna have the volume. That's the bottom line. The Qs out here, we've done 40 million already. You're, a, you're, you're way past the June 1st level. June 1st was 317. You're at 322. We've done 40 million. And you know this is gonna do 55, 60 million. Um, so you're taking swings out, take them out with volume. That's saying this thing can go a lot higher, man. You know, I'm trying to figure this out right now. Let me just put this on a weekly. Because you passed, you, you got in the higher range. That's the bottom line. Yeah, you get in the higher range, man. You get in the higher range. Now let's do it this way. Yeah, watch this. This is so intriguing, man. Okay. So, there we go. Okay, so 332. We're at 322. It's, it's taken out the, uh, the .382. The .382 is 308. You know, so 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 what's in? So this is what's really intriguing about this one, folks. If you're watching Tiger TV, where I'm going with this is the 50% retracement of the way down. Now the reason is that there's you know when you look at this, you, you normally trade and swing to swing to swing. That's how markets work, right? But you can see we're in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and you're already over this one swing here of uh, oh no, you're right at 3:30. And what did I say? The other one's 332. That's where we're going. We're going, we're going to the swing going back to uh, May 4th. That's how that's set up. Gold. We look at the gold contract out here. Gold rejected price today at 1770. Had 142,000 contracts. Not a lot of contract volume. That's what you want to see on the way back when you're going downtown. Because you'll see this when we... Um, there you go. Uh, yesterday, you know, when it got the higher price, you went to 174,000 contracts. A couple days ago, you did 193. And you're backing into the 193 right now at 143. So that's a good setup that does want higher price. Uh, notes and bonds. Let's look at this because yesterday, the 10-year got absolutely smoked. 
you know, went to a higher high, got smoked, and then guess what, though? <laughs> Bottom line, you rejected lower price right where you should reject it, meaning you're coming back to a breakout area. Um, you're going to have lighter volume. The bottom line is that you're going into uh, 1.79 million contracts. You did, we had to 119.10. You rejected lower price and you're only going to have 115, uh, 1.5 million contracts. That's still saying, guess what? You know, this, uh, well, what would you have here is this now. We got, get this straight. Yeah, because you get a complex ABC structure now. But it's, it's working because... Well, we'll see. We'll see how it overtakes again. The 126, 120.06. Right now, you're at 120.04. So you get a complex one. What that specifically means, you get back under the B again. We'll see how it goes when it gets over it. But it looks pretty good. That's the bottom line. Gold. We go take a look at the. Was it gold next? I did I already do gold? No, no, dollar. That's right, dollar. That's what we want. So the dollar is running the deal still. And what's so cool about the dollar running the deal, also, folks, is that. You know, you start putting a few of these things together and you can kind of get a feeling of where this market wants to go. So on the dollar, what we did is this. We got to 106.819. Now, 106.792 is your benchmark. You get a little doji that's hanging there. It's like, okay, man, it really isn't telling us much. That's the bottom line. The market is saying that this is going to pull back down again. Well, the broad market is. The gold market really hasn't. So this is going to get really intriguing watching this whole thing shake out. Um, some of the higher volume equities in this market today, you have uh, Advanced Micro down $1.65. You get Apple up uh, $5.95. Amazon's up $5.79. Snap's up $0.44. Cents. PayPal's up $7.90. Uh, Ping, I'm not sure what that is. Ping Identity. Uh, that's a, it's, Someone's going to get acquired by Thomas Bravo. Uh, Occidental's off 244. Tesla's up uh, 22 bucks. You got uh, Block up eight. You got Coinbase up 12. Um, there's there's some action out here. Let's go inside the Dow Industrials. The strength versus the weakness inside the Dow Industrials. Point wise out here, uh, you got Microsoft putting 52 positive points. United Health 45. Goldman, 43, Salesforce, 40, Disney, 29. Taken away from it. Chevron, minus 21. Walmart, minus 16. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. In a time of booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16-year mine life. All of this, combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits, this distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 442, Nasdaq's up 313, S&P's up 66. Let's go inside the NDX and see that strength versus the weakness inside the NDX out here. Moderna is up 17.5%. That's a number, huh? PayPal's up 8.5%. You got Ross Stores up uh, 6%. Mercado Libre's up 6 Take it away from it. Match.com, uh, Match Group is now down 17%. You got... Uh, Exelon, Exelon Corporation down a three and a half. Airbnb is off uh, two, and you got AMD down uh, 1.8. Let's get. Let me just I'm curious as to what Moderna is doing here. I know they they come out with their numbers, and the, their numbers were good. Just oh, look at that. Whoa, baby, what? You talk about volatility. So pitch this. Five months ago, Moderna is at 188. Two months ago, it's at 115. And you're back to 188. Let me just pull this in a weekly now. I see. Okay. So you're launching off the bottom. This is still quite a hit. This 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 stock on a longer term basis went from 497 down to 122. You're launching 188 though. So launching 188 is going to be a number that's saying it can go to 210. That's how that baby's set up right now. Uh, so pretty good setup actually. Um, let's go take a look at the uh, big, well, actually, let's go take a look at Apple. So they're buying Apple, and of course, you get fun buying here, folks. This is, this is the, this is it, though. This is the bottom line. So you got, I think Apple was an ABC up, yeah, so that was an ABC up. Let me, I forgot what the number was, though. 156, one second, there we go. Okay, so you got... There it is right there, right, yeah. 156. Well, that was only 14. That gave you 164. I see, okay. So 164 was the A to B equals C to D, you know. And you can see you, you, you're basically getting over the high of last Thursday, you know, but it's, the price is sticking. So the price sticking is a big deal. Now, this is what's pretty cool watching this. This is what, what you try to do, folks, on a continual basis, since we're in the probability business, is that you're trying to bring as much as you can into your decision, whether you're going long, going short, doing spreads. And you can see where I have my cursor right now, this 166 that Apple made it here. Well, that's where the Qs also want to go. So this is going to get intriguing as to what's going to, you know, basically get them up there. You know, there it is right there, the same day. And there's, there's decent volume that day. That's what's also going on there. So that number, you know, it, it's going to dig right into that number. That number's 330, and we hit uh, 322.42 today. So I believe, let's go to eBay, because I believe eBay's coming out with numbers after the close today. Let's see. So you got the third. It's after the close. They are going to be looking for... Okay, so they're looking for $2.4 billion and 89 cents to the bottom line. Top line, $2.4 billion. Bottom line, 89 cents. Okay, so let's put this on a weekly. And 
The, you know, you, so you know what's so intriguing, folks? This is when you look at some of these equities, you can see, well, I can see why the, the bottom line, I think we're, that we're off the lows. Because watch this, eBay went from 81 to 40. It was a 50% hit. There's a lot of them that are like this, man. That, you know, a 50% hit, man, that, that's a hit. So there's, there's people that have, you know, portfolios that are down, and we're down a lot more than 30%. Okay, so eBay, you put this on a daily again, because the weekly's not telling me anything. So the daily, okay, right there. What is that? That's 47 bucks. <laughs> Top 51. Yeah, I, you know what? There's not much here, man. This is going to get interesting. The, what this has done, right? This has come up to ICE. ICE is $51.82. Because it's easy on this one because you got a gap right there. And we're right at it, but... You know, you, you had contraction of volume out here today. You, you're coming into 19 million. You only did 4.3, and last Thursday we did 7.3. So that's telling me that this thing's going to back down after the close. It's going to be intriguing watching that well, for sure. You know what I mean? That's the okay. How how is this baby going? Where is it going to go? You know, why is it going there? All of the above. We go take a look at the. Um, let's go into the TLT and take a look at the TLT because that that bond move was extraordinary yesterday, no doubt. Got to a higher high and gave it up. Yeah, see, they still want higher price, man. So you get the the TLT. That's a twenty year plus, right? Bottom line, you came down yesterday, and we actually had done with the TLT has made a higher high with volume. And today you did. So you did seventeen million shares yesterday. You couldn't hold price. You backed down. Today you do 10 million, a rejected lower price. This this is gonna launch, man. This this is so diabolical, it's unbelievable that the rates continue to want the, the rates that you and I pay continue to want to go lower versus the Fed fund rate, okay, which is the bank to bank rate overnight rate. You know. We'll see where it goes. Let's take a look at a couple of these. Uh, oh, I got to tell you this, too. We do, we do. So check this out. We're talking inflation, right? Let me look at Home Depot first. I got to tell you the story, man, because this was, like, amazing yesterday. It blew my mind, actually. Okay. So Home Depot, yeah, this has to build more cars in order to get the higher price. Okay. Oh, I know what we should do. We got we to look at roofers. So this would happen. So the... Right now, I'm building four houses. Four, five, five, I think. Four, four, four. I just started another one, right? Literally two days ago. So when you start the house, folks, okay, you, you know, all the bids go out and all this, okay? So we really get an understanding of what has happened inflation-wise. So listen to this, man. This is crazy. Now, there's two different things. The roofing quote went from, normally I pay 15900 for a roof. And with that, that... That entailed, I built two houses when I build these together. You build, I build a main house of approximately 2,000 feet. Then I build a studio with either 441 or 661 with either a two or three car garage. Bottom line, the roofing price went from 15900 to $12,000. This is the same people I use all the time. And I, I keep them all straight because I keep bidding them all up. So you, you, talk, you talk about coming down on price. 15,900 to 12. Now, this is what also happened in Florida. So this is a little bit different. I can't wait to see the rest of these bids coming in. I'll let you know how they're coming in. And this would, so in Florida, what happened is this, is that there's so much fraud going on in the retail business of people scamming roofs, okay, that, that you know, it's turned into a mess. Well, the bottom line is that they finally got a grip on it that, you can't scam the insurance companies as easy as you, and that happened two weeks ago. So the roofing people in general slowed down immediately. I talked to the guy, and you know, he said, yeah, that slowed down, but he told me flat out that the business in general is slowing down and that the prices that he's paying for the roof slowing down. So this is gonna get really intriguing because I've never had a price decrease like that. I've had a price increase like that, you know, 16 months ago. That's when the prices all went bonkers. But it's gonna be really cool, man, um, if you get a few more of those that you pull back. I wouldn't expect 25%, but 10% would be good. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'll keep you updated, folks. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow Industrials up 448, NASDAQ up 318, S&P's up 66. We'll come right back.